You are probably not using the full capabilities of the Serbo GX. Today I'm going to help you deep dive into some of the advanced features of the Serbo GX. My name is Benjamin, I'm an application engineer here at NAS Solar Electric, and I'm going to help you plug into solar. Right now, I'm standing in an RV that has Victron inverters, charge controllers. We have two multi plus two 5Ks, 48 volts with Discover batteries. To configure the system to know when the generator is running and not, we have already wired in the automatic transfer switch a digital wire letting Victron know when the generator is on and providing power. We now need to tell Victron where to see that digital input. We're going to go to settings. We're going to scroll all the way down to digital inputs and outputs, short for IO. We're going to go to digital inputs. The automatic transfer digital output was wired to digital input one. We're going to go there. We're going to find the generator and we're going to select it. Now, the system knows when the generator is stopped or running. All right, we're here in front of a computer. We're gonna program a few more settings for the Servo GX and kind of show a few advanced features. Um, one being Node Red that can be used to kind of customize and do a lot of unique applications. I'm gonna do all this using a computer that's on the network that the Serbo GX is connected to. Um, this, all these settings can be done also using Victron Connect, um, using Remote Console and via Venus OS Large. So we can kind of do that both ways, but we're gonna focus on doing it kind of local today. We're gonna now look at Node Red. Node Red is an basic programming language that Victron has integrated into the Servo GX that you can use to do advanced logic control and be able to, based on conditions, turn on and off, like for example, the inverter or change settings on the inverter and various other Victron devices. Node Red is very easy. It's drag and drop kind of blocks that then you link together to kind of create a flow. And this flow kind of does a task. And today we're going to show you doing the task of changing the inverter limit for shore power, shore power limit. And we're going to change that based on if the generator's running or not. And we're going to doing this today so that when your generator running, you can kind of reduce the current to not overload the generator. Or the opposite, if you're plugged into a shore power that's like 15 amps and your generator can output more, we want to raise that to fully utilize that. So to get started with Node Red, we're going to go to the settings in the servo. And I'm doing that here on a PC using remote console. You can also do kind of turn on this using the touch panel, same kind of layout. And once we do that, then we have to use a computer connected to the network or through VRM. So the first thing to use Node Red, we need to load that software in the Servo GX. And we do this by going to firmware. And we want to select online updates and we want to select the large type. The large type has node red. The regular type, that one, the normal type, ha does not have node red. So we select large, and then you scan and update. And once you're updated, now we need to turn on node red. So we're going to scroll all the way down on the bottom of settings to Venus OS large features. And we want to look for node red and we want to make sure it's enabled. 
And to now access Node-RED, we want to go to venus.local and then 1881, or you can type in your IP address and then 1881. And I got that right here. And here's Node-RED. And we're going to use Node-RED today to adjust the SHORP limit based on if the generator is running or not. We've already wired and configured the generator sense to digital input. So on the far left, we're going to scroll down to Victron and we're going to find that digital input node and we're going to kind of drop that on our screen. And now we need to tell it which kind of digital input we're looking for. We're going to find the generator one and we're going to want to know the state of the generator. And um, Node-RED is nice. It gives us kind of what states we can see. And for the generator, it's going to either be running or stopped. So we have 10 is running and we have 11 is stopped. We're going to need to know that in, in just, just a minute. So now Node-RED will be able to kind of see that generator and now we can use that to do all of our logic. So once we have that, we're gonna do a switch node. And the switch node basically allows us to kind of separate and if the generator's running, go this path. And if the generator stop, go this path. So we're gonna click on the switch and we want to set this where the number, the first option, the first path, the number is 10 for running. And then we want to set another one where the number is 11 for stopped. And we got that here. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to go find the inverters. So the inverter tab. Let's see. Let's see. Right here. VE bus system control. That is the inverters. So we're gonna drag that here and drop that. And then we're gonna configure this right here. It looks like we already got the multi plus two inverters. Already, it already found that. And then we want to change the input one current limit. So we're gonna select that. And we're gonna push done. And now we need to tell the inverters how many amps to push. So we'll do that by using the change node. So the generator's running. We're going to have a 10 come to the switch and then that's going to come up to here. And we're going to want to set the payload to a number. And this is how many amps that your generator can provide the inverter without overloading. For this application, generator we have is limited to 22 amps. So we're gonna do 22 amps. And then we're gonna connect that to the inverter one right here. And we're gonna do that with when the generator is stopped. So we can copy and paste that set node and now when the generator is not running, we're gonna have 11 go to the switch and then come down to this one. And then we're gonna set this to 30 amps. Or if it's a split phase configuration and you have a 50 amp service, we'll set that to 50. And then that we then will feed to the MultiPlus inverter. And once we have that set, we need to deploy. And oh, let's see, not properly configured. So let's confirm. Let's see. Uh, 
All right, so it looks like that just didn't get saved. So let's save that here. Okay, now the generator state will then be pushed to the switch and then either come to the top where we have the generator running. And then if the generator is not running and we're stopped, then we're gonna set that to the max of 50 amps for this rig. And then that's gonna be pushed here. And once we have that, we can deploy it. And now node red will run in the background and anytime the generator's running, it will adjust the shore limit automatically to 22 amps. And when the generator stops, it will revert back to 50 amps. And this will help us utilize the full capabilities of the generator, but not overload it by trying to call for more. All right, that's it for using Node-RED to adjust the shore limit based on if the generator's running or not. Node-RED is endless in the possibilities you can do. For example, you can pull information from the charge controller and if it's charging the batteries or not, what state it's in, you can kind of pull information on battery, state of charge, voltage, health of the batteries, pull how many watts the inverters are. Possibilities are endless. So have fun, it's a blast. I'm Benjamin, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Give us a call, chat with us on our website. We have a lot of articles in our learning center about Victron. We're here to help you plug into solar.